Get rich fast with csgofast.com. Another split in Group A as, as G2 and Dignitas exchanged maps, so we still have no idea what's going to happen in, in Group A at Epicenter. Um, uh, so let's just run through the group uh, because we haven't gotten to talk to you before. Uh, first of all, you met uh, Navi uh, on Nuke. So that's kind of what I, what I want to uh, touch on first because it's, uh, obviously Navi basically never played Nuke before or just like a couple of times. So yeah, I'm sure you've practiced against them at least uh, in the past couple of months on Nuke. So yeah, what do you make of Navi's Nuke and kind of like the veto if you were surprised by it? I don't know. We were pretty surprised they took Nuke because we haven't seen them play it. Of course, we practiced versus them, but we like crushed them in practice because like we we feel really confident and good on Nuke. Um, after winning Mirage pretty like 16 to 6 or something, we thought that this is going to be a 2-0 for us. We didn't underestimate them of course, but we thought that the Nuke is our map. Uh, we have shown really good uh, results on it and uh, like potential. Uh, but we lost some crucial rounds. We played, I don't know, they played really good, like was shooting really hard and we didn't have a counter for it. Uh, so. Yeah, it's really hard to say what happened, but I think they played really good and we did some errors that we never usually don't do. Okay, now you picked it against uh, against an IP as well, or at least it was being played against an IP as well. Um, you are one of the teams that that uh, are are playing Nuke the most. I think you are the team, actually the team that that plays the Nuke the most because you have like 20 maps uh, over the last three months or something. So yeah, can you just talk to us about? Um, Nuke overall, how you think it's being played right now and, and why you think uh, you're, you're able to be so successful on it? I think Nuke, uh, like, at least I feel that it's easier to get T rounds now because you have more opportunities than you did, that you didn't have before. Uh, CT is all about communication, I would say. If you have good communication, the rotation is right and people are hitting their shots, it's easily to get rounds as CT. Mm -hmm. uh, but you need to focus as T, uh, the communication just yeah, communication is the way to success, I would say, on T-side too. Like, you have some standard smokes and such, and you go f from there, I would say. I, I like it. <laughs> okay, uh, now we played Cabo as well, and that was the, the big comeback from NIP. It was, I think, 11-4 uh, for USCT, and then they came back. You only got one round as T. So, yeah, where do you think what the problem was on, on the RT side? I don't know, really. Like, Cobblestone is normally really good at T for us. We are really squishy as CT uh, always been. Uh, if, like we thought if we get seven or six rounds of CT we, we should have won that game. When we got 11-4 we thought like okay we played pretty sick as CT. This, this should be um, pretty easily. Uh, we lost the gun round because of some errors of me actually. Uh, then they just started to play really good. We didn't have any counter. We didn't hit our shots. And yeah, they played really well. They like understood how we played and they just crushed us basically. <laughs> All right. So lastly, that was the game just now uh, against G2 splitting once again. Um, yeah. Talk to me about both of the maps a little bit. Dust2, very close. Overpass, you were in the lead and then, and then kind of dropped. So yeah, just run us through those. Well, there's two. Uh, we play them in SLTV in the semifinal. Uh, I think there, there we got like three rounds of CT because they shoot really hard. They're, they're really annoying to play against because they have like the aim and like it's really hard to understand what they're doing. Uh, but today we got six rounds and we felt that we could actually have gotten more as CT. So we felt pretty confident as, as T because we feel that they're not so good as CT on uh, this two. Um, so we just started uh, one gun round, then they got like 13 to 9 and then we just started playing good, talked to each other, won the map. But about old pass, we started pretty well. We had like 8 to 3, uh, 8 to 4 or something. Then we lost some crucial rounds, uh, clutches and such, and we got 8 to 7, but I think it's still a pretty good result as T, uh, because normally our CT side is really good. Megis Boy is probably one of the best on that map. He's really, really insane, like getting the entries and yeah, shooting really hard. Uh, but uh, again, we lost some crucial rounds, uh, clutches, dumb rounds. Uh, but like, some th that happens sometimes when you play against the best teams in the world. You can't do those silly mistakes that you maybe do versus uh, a less better team. Uh, so of course we have things to learn. Uh, still, we're pretty new team. We are some new faces, or not new faces, but yeah, we are pretty new. So we 
this is like uh, a learning phase for us and we feel that we are improving as a team and players and uh, hopefully like we can get off, out of the group stage if we are lucky with the run difference or else we we feel this is like um, a really good tournament for us because nearly every good team is here so yeah so yeah since since you touched on the on the format that you kind of yeah you basically will have to either wish that that somebody wins 2-0 or just like wish that, that the round difference uh, basically works in your favor um so yeah what do you think about the format overall do you think it should come it, it can come down to this scenario where people just have to think hey we need to win like two more rounds but we don't we don't need to win the whole map well, I, I don't know what to say i i think it's pretty exciting to play it uh but I would say that, uh, for example, BO3 GSL would be more awesome to play. Then you have one more map and like you feel that you, like two maps, then you have a good map for them and for us, basically, yeah. that happens. And then it's uh, uh, a good um, way that should be 1-1, one -one because they get a good map, we get a good map. Yeah. Uh, and as you see in our group, every match has been tied. So, <laughs> yeah, it's really, really uh, weird, but... I don't know. I think it's exciting. All right. Now, you uh, kind of acknowledged on Twitter that you've been under underperforming lately. Uh, first of all, what do you think is, is the reason for it? And second of all, what are you doing to kind of uh, regain your form? Well, uh, after my break for two weeks or something, when uh, IC and SMF and those was uh, standing in for me, I had problems with uh, like uh, focusing on the game. Uh, I had a, a constantly headache, which uh, was like I couldn't really play. Uh, after the the break, I had uh, like low confidence. I didn't go for the peaks I should, and I was just playing terrible. Uh, and then I was starting to be a bit little little better. But uh, I don't know really what what's happening. Uh, I'm I'm not feeling 100% yet. Uh, of course, I know that I'm not a star or anything. Like I'm a support player, but I know that I can better. And uh, I'm trying to do whatever I can. To, to be better, uh, and hopefully it will come soon. Yeah, do you think that like the addition of Magic Boy had actually had a little bit to do that with that as well? Because you kind of got another like big player, like a big star player, and you kind of had to take a step back, maybe. Well, it could be, of course. Like I'm doing some work as I did before. Maybe I don't, f uh, I don't feel that I need to do as much as I did before because we have Magic Boy now. He's a really, really good player, and I, I step back in some positions and such. Uh, but I still think that you can't uh, excuse playing le like less good because of a player. Um, I feel, of course, maybe he. Uh, like uh, kill someone that I normally could be killed before, but still I think that that's not an excuse. All right, thank you very much for the interview. Do you have any last words, maybe shout outs to the fan sponsor or anything? I just want to thank uh, our fans that is cheering for us, uh, Epic Center for being an awesome event and uh, for the interview. All right, thank you again. Uh, so that was Rubino from day three at Epicenter. Uh, stay tuned to hltv.org as we're hoping to get uh, some more interviews from the end of the group stage.